What's up guys? Jesse here from Vendors Mobile Detailing. Welcome back to another video. It is a sunny September morning here at the shop. You can see the last uh, of the three mobile vans just pulling out for the day, getting to go detail some vehicles. Um, but yeah, I'm here at the shop today um, doing some new services that we offer actually. Um, it's been about six months since I posted a YouTube video and quite a bit has changed since then. Uh, and we're doing some pretty cool stuff in the shop today, so I thought I would uh, pull the camera out and film it and take you along for the ride. So, um, we have my truck in the shop. This is actually a new truck since the last time I've uh, filmed a video. Um, yeah, it's a 2022 Ram 1500 Laramie. Um, and yeah, the reason that I got a new truck, there was two reasons. One, my old Ford Ranger over here, tucked in the back over there. Uh, it was dying. It, it does still work, but not very well. Uh, there's about 370,000 kilometers on that thing. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was about time for a new truck. The second thing, like I said, we're adding some new services. Um, as you can tell, we have a lift in the back of the shop. Also new since the last time I posted a video. Um, and yeah, adding, getting into some new services, obviously still automotive with a lift, but not detailing necessarily different stuff. Um, and that was part of the reason in getting a new truck was um i can get a new truck and do all my new services to this truck and kind of use it as a showpiece and then the nice thing about getting a new truck and starting with something brand new and nice and as close to perfect as it gets is i can um do my best to keep it that way and some of the new services we're adding um that's kind of what they do is keep vehicles looking really nice for a long long time and lasting longer than than they uh, normally would. And so it's nice to have a, a new truck to be able to kind of showcase that. And every, so every year that goes by, every, you know, um, the longer the longer time goes on, um, the more of a testament this is, the more, the better of a showpiece it is um, to some of these new services. So yeah, um, uh, we're gonna start by washing this thing. It is ceramic coated already. Uh, we have a um, Fine Lab five-year ceramic ultra on there. Um, and so, yeah, it'll be a pretty easy wash. The only the paint's coated though. None of the black plastic is, none of the wheels are. Um, the underside isn't, and that's kind of a um, foreshadowing to what we're doing today. But yeah, so we'll start giving this thing a wash uh, and then we'll pick it up from there. So we got the truck all washed up, backed it in between the lift and, and squeegee the floor nice and dry. Um, probably about time I tell you what we're doing to this truck. Um, we're actually doing an undercoating service. So undercoating uh, is a new service we're just getting into now. Uh, like I said earlier, we uh, have added a whole bunch of services over the past year, year and a half. Um, actually spray and bed liners being one of them. Um, did the spray and bed liner on this truck. 
Um, been doing that for over a year now. Um, still a little wet from when I washed the truck bed out, but, but yeah, um, the undercoating we're doing today, this is actually only the second one I've done. So, um, we're not doing a, we're not doing oil spraying, um, like a, or any other kind of typical petroleum based undercoating. Um, we're actually doing a ceramic undercoating. So, um, this is a really cool product. Uh, first of its kind on the market. There's nothing really out there like this. Um, so this past winter we became um, certified uh, installer for Fine Lab ceramic coatings. Um, so Fine Lab is a really cool company. I uh, have loved working with them. All of the ceramic coatings that we offer uh, are all Fine Lab coatings. They're, yeah, if you haven't heard of them, look them up. F-E-Y-N-L-A-B, Fine Lab. Um, in my opinion, they're one of the best, if not the best, uh, ceramic coating company on the market. They're definitely one of the more premium brands. They're very picky about who they work with and and you know, to become an installer, it's a bit of a process to, they wanna ensure that, um, yeah, that their installers do high quality work and um, they can kind of control the quality that way, which is awesome. Um, and then they're also pretty picky with, you know, how close installers are together um, because there's no sense in selling the same product side by side and fighting each other for business. So it's a really cool company, have loved working with them. Um, and they've got a bunch of really good products and one of them being this, uh, it's called Ceramic Industrial. Um, and like I said, first of its kind on the market, there's nothing out there like this stuff. Really, really cool product. So it is it is a ceramic coating, um, but it is um, a little bit different than like the typical ceramic coatings that you put on your paint. Like um, this is anywhere from 25 to 40 plus microns thick, depending on how it's applied and, and how much is applied. A typical ceramic coating is like two to seven or eight microns thick. Um, so it's a super thick, super durable, super UV resistant, super chemical resistant coating. Um, as the name implies, ceramic industrial, it was kind of uh, developed for uh, an industrial application, like heavy equipment, agriculture um, stuff, construction stuff, like, yeah, like excavators, loaders, that kind of stuff. So you can imagine the environment that those, um, that kind of equipment is in. It has to be a very thick, very durable coating. Um, and so it's honestly, it's a, it's a new product. Like it's, it's been around a couple years now, but it's really, um, picking up like, they, yeah, they've, I think they've been researching development for like somewhere in the eight to 10 year range is when they first began doing the research. And so, um, yeah, it's gotten to a point now where it's a really, really good product. And, and, um, there's a lot of alternate uses for this product instead of just its intended, um, industrial application, like undercoating a vehicle. So really, um, the differences between it and a um, normal ceramic coating, uh, it's way thicker. Um, it does still give you like a super glossy um, finish, but it doesn't really, you can apply it by hand or you can spray it on. Um, we'll be doing the spray application and, and the only drawback to it is um, it doesn't really apply like super smooth. Like, I mean, if you were a professional painter in a paint booth um, I'm sure you could probably get it to lay down just as smooth as clear coat um, but that there's a lot of extra costs associated with that and uh, for um, so yeah that's why we don't really put it on paint like it would make the paint look super glossy um, but it wouldn't really give that like mirror reflection that you expect in in the paint of your vehicle whereas like equipment you want it to look shiny and glossy and nice and presentable but you're not looking you're not polishing it to get the mirror finish and that kind of a thing right so um, that's one of the main differences, but yeah, it's, um, to use it as an undercoating is such a cool thing. And there's really not many people out here doing it at all. I'm, I'm one of the first, not the first by any means, but, um, we're early in, in using it for this and it's really cool. So comparing it to a, um, oil spray or a petroleum based undercoating, um, you know, you get your vehicle oil sprayed maybe every year, maybe every other year, if you're whatever. Um, this is going to last you like a, a decade, pretty much. It's, um, they, well, they warranty it for five years, um, but it outlasts that warranty. Like, it absolutely will outlast that warranty no matter what. Um, it's just that heavy duty of a product, and, and the warranty has kind of been growing because they've only, they've only been doing R&D on it for eight to ten years. So as, as it's been around longer, they're able to extend that warranty. So it might grow, might not, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, so it'll last like, yeah, five to 10 years for sure, without a doubt. Um, the other cool thing, it is, 
it works on its temperature resistance. So like the exhaust and the engine block and stuff that gets hot, like an oil spray just burns right off of, this stuff will coat that and stay on it and keep it, keep it looking brand new and great. So um, yeah, like a oil spray burns right off your exhaust, your exhaust is the first thing to rust under the vehicle. Um, yeah, like it's it's really good product. Doesn't obviously make a mess of your driveway, of your door seals, of all the rubber and trim and stuff like oil spray does. Um, so tons and tons of benefits. And then yeah, like it lasts up to 10 years. And so that alone is a huge, huge benefit to, to this product. So this truck, my truck is actually the second vehicle that I'm gonna be spraying with this stuff. Um, the first one was a vehicle that I trained on. So I didn't do a lot of the prep work and stuff. I'm, um, transparent with you, I'm kind of learning this process as we go, but it's, it's, uh, like I said, there's not really anything out there like it and not a lot of people are doing this as an undercoating. So, um, yeah, really excited about this product and, and think it's going to really change. It's going to be, it's going to be a bit for people to actually believe it. Um, but this is going to change the undercoating vehicle protection world, I think. Um, and that was again, big part of the reason for a new truck is just I've got a fresh slate to work with there's like four or five thousand kilometers on this truck so ideally it would have been nice to do it the second I got it but it didn't really line up that way but uh yeah so four or five six seven years down the road um this truck will have lived its whole life in the rust belt southern Ontario uh salt on the roads and all that and the underside is going to look immaculate it's it's you could you could coat a a, a, a bare sheet of steel um, and it wouldn't rust in this stuff in the ceramic. It's a really, really incredible product. And so really looking forward to, to getting into this. So, um, yeah, so next we're going to, so yeah, with the industrial, um, we are going to do the whole underside of the vehicle. We're going to do the wheel wells. We're going to do the engine bay. Um, I think I'm even going to do like the, the side steps, the tonneau cover. Um, basically like it, it'll work on anything. The bonding capabilities is another thing, um, that makes this a little different than a normal ceramic coating. Uh, the bonding capabilities are absolutely incredible. Um, and it will literally just, it'll apply to anything. Um, so anything that, you know, like, and I mean, it would apply to paint. We just don't want to, don't want to do that because of the mirror finish and that kind of a thing. But yeah, anything that doesn't have a mirror finish on it, like I think even, I'm debating on the wheels. I'm definitely gonna do the barrel of the wheels in the industrial. Um, I think I'll probably do the faces of the wheels in just like a um, like a standard wheel and caliper ceramic coating. Um, but I, I think if you get good enough at applying it, I bet you we could apply it to wheels too. But, but yeah, that's the plan. We'll see how far we get today. Like I said, I'm learning this, so it's taking a bit longer. We got, I'm doing all kinds of time studies and that kind of thing on it but um but yeah really looking forward to getting into this it's going to be awesome so next step pop the hood detail that engine bay real good get it looking good um then we're going to put it on the lift take the wheels off um clean the wheel wells jack it way up and uh um clean the underside and then we'll be getting ready to to undercoating this vehicle so here we go
All right, so as you saw, we uh, detailed the engine bay, put it on the lift, took the wheels off, uh, did the wheel wells real nice. As you can see there, I'm really happy with how they came out. Uh, they took forever. Um, they, I had a lot of uh, grease, uh, little gob goblets of uh, grease built up in there. Just uh, this parking lot is not the best. Sharing a shop with a construction shop. It's a little grease that I pick up being in and out of this parking lot every day. But anyway, um, got them all cleaned up, put it up, and then uh, clean the underside. Um, so I'm expecting to do a little bit of touch up here. Um, once it dries, like you can see stuff like that, I want to get better. Um, and then obviously the underside of these steps, like, yeah, that can be way better. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of touch up there, but I'm going to let that dry. And then, uh, right now we're going to do the wheels. Um, so I didn't really wash them all that well when, uh, I washed the truck just because it's easier to wash them when they're here. Um, so we are going to clean these very thoroughly um, and then we might even do a wheel and caliper coating um, just on the faces um, of the wheels and then uh, and then the the backs are going to get the same stuff that's going on the underside the barrels anyways are going to get the same stuff that the is going on the underside the ceramic industrial so um, yeah I'm very very happy with the way this is going to come out um, that was the whole goal with buying a brand new truck was to have it look absolutely perfectly brand new under here um which it will there's a few little things that rust um that i'm pretty sure rust before you take them off of the lot which sucks um but that is what it is and and this is about as close to perfect as you're gonna see um which is what i want and a decade down the road it's still gonna look that way um because of ceramic industrial so yeah, I'm gonna do these wheels here. We'll see how far we get on them. It is it is like 4.30 already. I went home, had lunch, came back. Uh, the guys had come back from their days, so we washed a couple of the vans. Uh, we got two out of three of them done. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna work on these wheels. We'll get them, at least get them fully cleaned, maybe get the faces coated. Um, and then tomorrow we'll come back um, it's just nice to let this dry completely overnight so we know there's no water hiding anywhere. Come back, do some touch-up spots, uh, and then we'll get right to spraying. So it's going to be a very exciting day tomorrow. This truck is going to look brand new inside or underside and top side, um, inside and out too, I guess. Um, and it's going to stay that way. So yeah, we'll uh, pick this back up in the morning. All right, so it's the next day. I got quite a bit to catch you up on. Um, so first, last night I stayed and I cleaned these wheels front and back. I didn't coat them. I just cleaned them really, really good. Um, did not film that because, well, actually I did film that, but I filmed it for an Instagram reel, so can't use it for this because portrait mode. Um, and then, yeah, I did the touch-ups under the truck. So if we come under here and look, this is about as perfect as you're possibly going to see the underside of a truck. Like I said, there's four or 5,000 K on this. So there's a couple spots that are rusty, um, that I think are probably rusty. Like when you pick them up off of the dealership lot, which is unfortunate, but it's the way it is. But, uh, yeah, I totally went overboard cleaning, like how clean the frame rails are and stuff. Um, like here you see, like there's a little bit of whatever there that if I wiped better could come off. Um, and that's okay. Uh, I forget if I said this earlier or not. I'm sure there's spots up here too that are all, uh, that I didn't wipe absolutely everywhere. But the cool part about this, I forget if I said this earlier or not. Um, it's the bonding capabilities of the industrial ceramic are so great that like a little bit of surface dust here and there is not gonna affect um, that area being coated. The coating will actually like eat through dust and whatever to, to find a solid surface to bond to. It's a very, it's a, it's a wild product, but yeah. So, um, and then obviously I just tarped the whole thing off. Um, got it all ready to go. So yeah, on this truck, I decided I am going to spray this here too. Um, maybe shouldn't on like the second time I've ever picked up a sprayer just cause, um, this is like not under the vehicle that you don't see, but at the same time when the truck's sitting on the ground, you don't see all that that well. Uh, and so I'd rather spray it and have it protected. Um, same with the back sides of the mud flaps and stuff, spray it, have it protected and we'll see, maybe it'll come out looking awesome. Like I said, still 
being transparent with you, I'm still new at this, so um, yeah, we'll kind of see. But but overall, yeah, very happy with how this is coming out. The wheel wells look awesome, the underside looks awesome, and it's all gonna stay looking like that for uh, a decade and beyond. So <laughs> yeah, um, we'll clean things up here, pull the sprayer out, and get ready to, to lay down some ceramic industrial. Here we go. All right, so we uh, sprayed it in. Um, it was about a half hour spray time. What you didn't see, so after I stopped spraying, I shut the camera off. Um, I wanted to still do, the only things I hadn't done were the engine bay, the back sides of the wheels, and then uh, the top sides of these, like the part that you step on. And these are side steps, by the way, they like fold down. So the top sides of those. So I, uh, I did that. I just forgot to put the camera back on, but I cleaned the gun. Um, just because it took me a while to like untape and, and open the hood and tape back up and then flip the side steps down, turn the wheel, all that stuff. I just didn't want the gun to sit. Um, the stuff can kind of crystallize if it sits for too long. Um, it starts to harden up. And so, yeah, clean the gun, kind of re-prepped everything, and then I sprayed in the hood. I sprayed in the, the barrels and the wheels. Um, I even sprayed in a bare sheet of steel there too. Um, just half of it. I taped off half, so i um, just going to let that half rust and then one half will be protected and won't rust it'll kind of be a good um look at this product kind of a thing but uh yeah overall really happy with it you can see it's pretty wet in there um but it's not it's not actually wet it looks wet um and so yeah i think like there's definitely some spots like i don't know it's not perfect but it is really really good um, you can see just how good the bottom of those look and, and then the whole here, I'll just crouch down the whole underside of the truck just looks really, really good. Um, yeah, yeah. And now it's going to stay this way. I did the rockers really well and everything, everything pull back. Actually, yeah, it all, it all looks really, really good. Very happy with how this turned out. Um, yeah, obviously the real um test or the real like yeah it makes things look good but the, the main benefit is uh the how it protects things and makes them stay looking like that for a really long time so as time goes on this will just become a a better and better sales piece for me um yeah i'll obviously give a bunch of updates on it um as time goes on um but yeah really really happy with how everything turned out it laid down Honestly, it lays down smoother than I thought. I think if you got good enough and you were in a paint booth, you could lay this down perfect, but um, not really the not really the purpose of this product. Like I said, this is uh, more for protection, and, and yeah, this everything on this truck is going to be protected now, which is awesome. So, um, yeah, that's all I got. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this product, let me know down below, um, and subscribe for more content in the future. Thanks.